Hello friends, my name is Sandeep. I am your personal coach when it comes to the civil engineering, making a career into a civil engineering. Now, in today's topic is the wind load. Uh, how to generate uh, the wind loads in the software called eTabs. Now, there are basically four different methods actually. The first method is, you know, you can view the diaphragm. Uh, there, that might be the rigid or semi-rigid diaphragm. You can view the diaphragm and you can generate the loads based on the the uh, diaphragm inputs. So what software will take is like what is the width of the diaphragm and the length of the diaphragm. It will take the exposure area based on the uh, the diaphragm coverage as well as the height. And based on that, actually, it will apply the uh, the horizontal forces. So based on the the uh, uh, shell elements diaphragm also, you can generate the earthquake. There's the first uh, prefer preference generally. So many structural engineers they give that. Second methodology is like you can generate the wind loads in ETAPS through the uh, shell objects. Means you can give the, uh, the like a curtain to the building. Uh, we call it as the, uh, the auto cladding. You can give the auto cladding to the building and after that you can actually give the force coefficients in the horizontal manner whether it is uh, towards the windward or the leeward. Okay, so uh, this is second methodology when the building plan is quite irregular in nature, not in particularly in rectangular, people are preferring this kind of methodology. The only hitch in this particular methodology is what is the windward coefficient or the leeward coefficient. Then that you need to find out from the IS 75 part 3. Uh, the third methodology which is a little bit more complex actually when the time period of the building is more than one second or the frequency of the structure which is less than one sec uh, one hertz in that case actually IS 875 part 3 uh, compels you to go to the uh, uh, generate the wind loads through the uh, dynamic method what is the dynamic method the dynamic method is wind gust factor. Now, when it comes to the wind gust factor, actually chapter 7 of IS 874 part 3 governs. So, in that case, actually you just need to refer various different graphs. There are various graphs, 6 to 7 graphs are there. From that, actually the wind energy is there, surrounding environment is there, various different parameters are there. So, in that case, actually you will apply the wind load along with the gust factor. Gust is the impact load. Okay, it's like something if, if I'm, uh, uh, you know, throwing one particular stone from very height, actually, the weight of the stone multiplied by the impact will cause the basic effect, actually. So, based on that, actually, it calculates the force, which is a little bit more accurate in nature. The fourth methodology, which is the most important, most uh, uh, complex, sophisticated, but it is the most accurate method which is uh, wind tunnel, uh, tunnel analysis. We have to give the mathematical model parameters to the wind consultant. RWDI, CPVP and uh, Wintech, there are various different companies are there which generates the, the, uh, uh, the ma mathematical model uh, along with the, the fiber model actually through the wind uh, tunnel analysis. So, wind tunnel is one of the most uh, sophisticated technology in today's world. When it comes to the complex structures actually which you cannot determine how much is the wind, specifically whenever the structure is near next to the seashore or very high rise buildings actually like 30, 40 story plus structures when the wind becomes very, very uh, a prominent structure uh, for prominent force uh, you know applied to the structure. So, in that case you require to go for wind tunnel analysis. For the wind tunnel analysis, actually, it's a prototype model. Okay, look at the picture, you know, in that case, uh, I'll just show you certain pictures. In that case, you will see that how the wind tunnel is getting calculated uh, or wind tunnel is getting calibrated. First of all, you need to understand that mathematical model which is there in SAP, ETABS or in STADPRO, uh, that mass moment of inertia, MMI and other physical properties which you need to submit to the wind consultant and they will do the certain scaling. So, the, that kind of scaling is required. It's a very sophisticated process actually. It goes through and fro, to and fro actually. You need to give the uh, dynamic properties of the structure also like time period frequency and um, MMI. Uh, based on that, it generates certain uh, forces which you need to calibrate based on the wind model and the ETABS model. And you need to import the file actually from the Excel directly to the ETABS 
and then you can do the wind analysis in e types so these are basically the four methods which we generate the wind load very sophisticated uh, sophisticatedly in the software called e types i hope you enjoy the video if you like it please give the thumbs up if you love it please subscribe the channel thank you very much bye bye